Hello there, I'm Mr Horton, Assistant Head Teacher here at North Bromscope High School. As you know, unfortunately, our usual Year 11 revision evening cannot go on as usual, so therefore we've put together a range of videos and PowerPoints to aid you through supporting your son and daughter through these crucial year of their lives. So in terms of English, just to recap that there's two separate qualifications, AQA's English Language and AQA's English Literature. AQA English Language revolves around two separate exam papers, both one hour, 45 minutes long. The first one tests students' ability to understand fiction, either a 20th century or 21st century piece of fiction, and there are four answered questions linked to that, which all students have to answer. And then section B is a writing section linked to describing or narrating a piece of fiction. Paper two, revolves around non-fiction. There are two texts and that means the reading part of this exam requires a comparative element. The written part tests students' ability to write purposefully for a range of purposes or audiences depending on the question set. In English literature there's a change for this academic year and that's to take into account the amount of time students have spent doing home learning during last year. As a consequence we've made the decision not to study 19th century literature Christmas Carol on our case and instead students will carry on studying the power and conflict poetry and in spectacles Macbeth and unseen poetry. The exam times have been adjusted accordingly and the PowerPoints give some explanation on that. To support all our learners we provided them with revision guides already and hopefully you've seen them being used at home. So for English language there's a separate reading and writing section and students will be set targeted chapters and questions to work on depending on their skill sets and the gaps in their learning. For English literature, they have revision guides for all of their set texts. Again, students will be dipping in and out of these in class and at home. We're also consolidating learning through use of GCSE pod, which students can really find to engage their learning and answer a range of quizzes, again, to support with the gap filling. Revision takes place every Wednesday after school and there's a range of topics and skills based on the different ability levels of students to meet individual needs. So there's a range of support mechanisms in place to support all of our students here at North Bromscope High School. What we need you to do as parents or carers is just support us at home as much as possible, making sure that students are logging into class charts and yourself, you're logging into class charts as well and GCSE pod, finding out what work's been set and supporting their understanding of it and also supporting as much as you can with revising the key quotations. You'll see from the displays around the school, we've already got these embedded in English classrooms, just to remind students of the key quotations they'll need for their examination success in English literature. If you can support your son and daughter at home with doing similarly through cue cards, mind maps, etc., that is a big help because their understanding of context and their understanding of key quotations is intrinsic to their success in English literature. Thank you for your support.